Hello. In last video, we discussed how we can create a very simple neural network system and how we can put input there and how we can get output. In this video, we are going to discuss how we can train that network to do a specific job. So I already told you there are multiple ways that we can train our network. One of them is gradient descent algorithm or backpropagation that we are going to discuss in this video. So. Uh, I already introduced to you a class that is called network. Each network contains uh, layers and each layer has weights, biases, and values. In this video, we are going to introduce to you uh, another class that is called GD network. So GD network inherit from network, so it has all the functionality of uh, the network. And it also has the functionality that we can train our network with the gradient descent algorithm. All right. For that, we need a lot of input data, okay? And we need their answers. So let's take a look at a very simple example of how this algorithm work. A very simple example is an XOR example. So in, X, in XOR example, we have two cases, A and B. If A is true and B is true, or A is false and B is false, the result will be false. And if one of them is false and one of them is true, the result would be true. So what I want to do now, I want to create a very simple neural network, a very simple neural network, that as an input I put true and false and I get the result, which is the result can be also true and false. I convert this true and false to numbers, which one represent true and zero represent false, okay? So now I create a very simple neural network which has two layer at input and one at output and one hidden layer also. So I initialize my network with random weights and random biases, all right? And I put my data that I already have inside that network. For example, I put one here and one here. All right, so as the network is random uh, right now, so it has random weights and it has random biases, it will give me a random uh, output. For example, imagine that it give, it give us uh, half. Uh, so at this point, we take a look at output and we, and we already have the answer. We, our answer is zero. So, and we ask this question, how much differ the output that we have from the correct answer. And that is simple, it's different minus half, all right? So in that case, I know that this node here has error of minus half, but we don't have error of this node. So we should somehow back propagate our error here and calculate this error here. And according to that error, we, we tweak the weights and biases up here, and we tweak the weights and biases up there, here. I'm not going to explain the exact formula of backpropagation, but you can take a look in internet, uh, just, just a simple search, you can find the formula, okay? All right, so let's create this example in Godot. So this is where I left off from the last video. I delete all of this, okay, and from here I create my variable that is, uh, which is network. This time I call, uh, I should create a GD network, okay. So now I initialize my uh, network with uh, two input, so our uh, first layer should have the size of two. Two and a hidden layer with size of two. Add layer two and output should be one. And I initialize my network. Okay, so now I have this random uh, neural network system which has two input, a uh, hidden layer, and one output. All right. So now I should uh, create my data. I already know what is my data. So I put this inside an array 
and inside that array I should put my data which is 1 1 which means true true uh, 1 0 and 0 1 and 0 0 so this is the pure data and I create my target which is the answer so the first one has the answer of 0 which means 1 1 is false the second one has the answer of 1 this one has the answer of uh, one, one, and this one has the answer of zero. All right. So this is our input, and this is its answer. This is our input. This is its answer, and so on. Now, I want to train my train my network in process function. So I'm going to process, and here I say for i in range 0 4 I would say where output is equal to so, net. so this is the method that uh, is special for this GD network and it's called train so train as input it gets uh, the input and the answer so so I will put first this input the second time this input and this input and this input and its answer and its answer and its answer so it's worked like this so it's going to be input of index i because i is changing from 0 which is this index to 3 which is this the last index so i and its corresponding answer also so target so now I created my network, but I want to visualize that if, it, if, if everything is going well. So I create a variable called error here, and I initialize that with zero, calculate this error, and add it to this error, okay? So error should be plus equal absolute target at i, and remember, always, this train take an array and array so this should be array and because of that I put this inside of array okay so always it should be array so it's going to take the target at output i and the first element because this should be the first element all right and I could uh, say minus output all right so this is the output of the network the, which is at first is random all right so each time is going to calculate uh, to, uh, to calculate the error and train the network with all of these four input data that we have and it's going to slowly slowly approaching the correct weight and biases that is going to give us the correct answer okay and here I'm going to print the error but I don't want to print it each frame, so I create another value called frame here. And I call I put it zero. And I add frame one. And here I would say if frame is greater than 50, for example, please do that and get back frame to zero. So Actually, I printing each 50 frame the error, not each frame because it's too much. And that's it. But there are two important uh, property of the GD network that we should uh, specify. One of them is network dot WLR, and one other is network dot BLR. So what are those? I will explain in a moment. So, as I told you here, as I told you here, we, we are going to tweak these weights and tweak these biases uh, according to how much error we have, okay? So here we have minus five. So we are going to change these weights 
that uh, is, we are going to approach somehow to this answer, all right? But how much, how fast should I move toward this answer, okay? This is determined by the learning rate. So I separated the learning rate for the weights, how much fast the weights should approach and how much fast the bias should approach. So, which is in this, uh, in this property, WLR and BLR. Uh, so you specify them, um, you can put something crazy, like I don't know, two or something, you know, for approaching the answer very fast, but sometimes that doesn't work and you are just oscillating around the answer. So let's see how it's working. So, so as you can see here, this is my error and each time we have less error as you can see. So I will let it run and see what will happen. So as you saw, we are approaching to the answer. But this algorithm does not work very well with games because in game we don't have a set of data with with an answer. Uh, so in next video we are going to discuss about the genetic algorithm. Okay, that with that algorithm we are going to train for games. Have a good day.